Hey, hey everyone, it's that time of the year where all the Asian adults and kids get together to celebrate, or should I say, party really hard for the Lunar New Year. Okay, so for today's makeup, it's not done specifically just to wear with, oh yeah, you can wear this with anything you want. It is a really gorgeous makeup. It's bold, but it's not too dramatic at the same time, don't you agree? Okay, first up is the Varsali Rose Gold Elixir. I always moisturize my face using this and it's perfect for my dry skin. It makes all the flakes on my skin disappear and gives it a healthy glow. Now, while I wait for the Elixir to absorb into my skin, I am going to prep my eyes with Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer by applying it all over the eyelid. Using a concealer, I am going to trace the bottom of my brow to highlight my brow bone. Then, apply the concealer all over my eyelid as a base for my eyeshadow. Remember to use a clean brush to blend out the concealers. For this makeup, I am going to use the Shade and Light Kat Von D eyeshadow palette. It is a beautiful neutral color palette for everyday use. I have the brush pointing at the colors I will be using for this makeup, so follow the brush. I use the lightest eyeshadow all over my eyelid first before I go in with a darker color. After the light color, I pat the cool dark brown on my crease then I pat the warmer red tone brown over top. Using a clean fluffy brush, blend the two eyeshadow out. After I blended out the eyeshadow on my crease, I also patted on a bit more eyeshadow on the outer corner of my eyes. To give myself big looking eyelids, I used the same concealer I used previously to clip the crease to enhance my double eyelid. I added a little more eyeshadow at the outer corner of my eyes and blend it up with the concealer giving it an ombre effect. I'm going to use a highlighter palette from Makeup Revolution to highlight my eyelid. Pat the highlighter over top of your concealed eyelid. NYX eyeliners are my go-to liners. They are beautiful, affordable, and so pigmented. Here I am using the white eyeliner tracing my crease. I use the white liner as a base for the Ramel London Wonder Swipe Gold Liner. It really helps enhance the gold glitter to stand out better. Another one of my go-to NYX liquid eyeliner in matte black. Now draw your wing eyeliner on any way you want. Now trace the white liquid liner above your black liner, then go over the white liner with gold glitter liner. Darken your lash line by using a black pencil eyeliner. The best part after the eye makeup is your lashes. Wear your favorite falsies. Mine is from So Mint Lashes called Fantasizing. Now that I've given the elixir enough time to absorb into my skin, it is time to work on my face. I use the Professional from Benefit to prime my face. And use my Hourglass Lip Treatment Oil for my chapped lips. Back on the MAC Concealer Palette, I use the salmon color concealer to brighten my under eye bakes. I just recently bought a silicone makeup sponge at Miniso and I finally got to try it out. I love the feeling and I couldn't stop squishing it. Sadly, the blending quality of the sponge was terrible, so I had to toss it aside. It's time to apply my foundation. I use the Artistry Exact Fit 24 Hour Long Wearing Foundation in shade L2W1. 
I start off by applying the foundation with a flat foundation brush, making lines on my cheeks, chin, and forehead. After that, I use a beauty sponge to blend it out. Now set the foundation with a pressed or loose powder. I use the All Nighter Urban Decay Waterproof Press Powder all over my face to set my foundation. Instead of swiping the powder on, I press and roll the big fluffy brush onto my skin for the powder to sit in place. Back onto the palette, I am going to smoke out the outer corner of my bottom lash line using the brown eyeshadow. Using the same black pencil eyeliner, color in your bottom waterline. After that, use a fluffy brush to blend it out. Highlight the inner corner of your eyes. My cousin got me this mascara from Japan. The mascara works really well and I like it. I use it occasionally. I think it's waterproof and it never flakes on me. Time to highlight and contour the face. I highlighted my face first using the Kat Von D shade and light contour palette. Then, I warm up my face with NARS bronzer in Casino before I darken the contour of my cheek with Kat Von D palette again. Using a small fluffy brush, I contour my nose giving it a natural shadow lining both sides of my nose to make it look straight and sharper. Just to let you all know, my eyebrows are already microbladed so I only need to darken it a little bit with Anastasia Beverly Hill Brow Powder in dark brown. I am sorry for going back and forth on the same palette again, but I am in love with this palette. This highlighting palette has more than one purpose and it's really pigmented. Now I'm going to use this highlighter and highlight my cheekbone, nose, and a bit on the forehead and my chin. I am also so 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 in love with this blush color from MAC. It's peachy pink and it has a nice natural flush to the skin. Works with almost all types of skin tone. When it comes to the lips, it gotta be Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Lipstick in Muse. I also pair it up with NYX Butter Lipstick in Summer Fruits. These two lipstick color combination is gorgeous. My go-to lipstick nude color. Okay guys and girls, we are finally done. It took me two weeks to finish editing this video. You have no idea how happy I am. Just in time before the Lunar New Year celebration. I hope you all like the video so far. Subscribe and like if you do. Also, if you have any comments or advices on how to improve my YouTube video, please do teach me. I would love to learn and improve as I go. Happy Lunar New Year. See you next time. Bye.